Welcome to Statistics in Excel video number 45. Hey, if you want to download this workbook and follow along, click on my YouTube channel, then click on my college website link, and you can download the workbook, Business 210, Chapter 3. If you're in the class, just go to our Chapter 3 website. Hey, we got to talk about Z-score. What in the world is Z-score? Uh, it is a measure of relative location of a particular X in a data sheet set. Now think about this. Uh, location, what do we do? Oh, typical value, one in the middle, and then we did percentile and quartiles, where we could say, you know, so many above or below. But this, those were for uh, one data set. Now we want a relative, find relative location so we can compare two different data sets. And here's a great example. Uh, without even knowing uh, the statistics side of this, this kind of just makes common sense. You got 78 on your calculus test and you're bragging to your sister and your sister's like, ah yeah, but on my history test I got 93. I did much better than you. Now you can't really compare these two data sets, a 78 from one data set, oh and a 93 from a completely different data set, unless you know the mean and the standard deviation for both of these scores. In that case, you can calculate a z-score. Now look at this, right off the bat, common sense, right? 73, you got 78, you're above the mean. Ah, but your sister, the average for the class was 96 and she got 93, so she's below her mean. Now, let's also further just think common sense, right? 73 plus a standard deviation of, of 3 would be 76. That's exactly one standard deviation above this mean. Whereas, look, your sister got 96. If you subtract one standard deviation, you would get 93. So she's exactly one standard deviation below, and you're more than one standard deviation above. That's what we're talking about, relative position. Now, Notice what we did. Um, we, in essence, took the mean and subtracted a standard deviation and got down to 93. So we could formalize that for all values, even ones that we can't do in our head like this one. We could say whatever the x is, which is your particular value, minus whatever the x bar is divided by uh, s, the sample standard deviation, and boom, you have your relative uh, position, or z. it's a z score. So equals in parentheses whatever the particular value is minus the mean. Now think about this. You're above the mean, so this part of it is going to be positive. It's 5, right? And then we say divided by the standard deviations. Uh, that means when we do our calculation in the denominator will be a 1. So on the top it'll, it'll tell us how many standard deviations uh, we are above or below. Well of course because th this is above we're going to get a positive number which is 1.667. 1.67 uh, standard deviations above the mean. Now if you don't like doing it that way, which by the way this is great because we'll uh, use this type of calculation uh, coming up in chapters uh, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, a bunch of chapters uh, when we do uh, uh, normal distributions and hypothesis testing. So this is great to know because this is the deviation, right? We take the deviation and divide it by the standard deviation and it gives us the standard value, so 1.67. But there is a function standardize and the screen tip is kind of polite. It t says it wants an x, so I'll click on the particular value comma, and then it says give me the mean, I'll give it the mean, comma, and the standard deviation, I'll give it the standard deviation. So, the z-score, it, it definitely tells us how many standard deviations above or below the mean we are, and it tells us the relative location of a particular x in a data set. That way we have this value and we can compare. Now down here for your sister, uh, we could say equals in parentheses whatever our particular value is minus what the mean is. And notice, she's below, so this deviation is going to be negative. And then divide it by the standard deviation, we get minus 1. And similarly, we could use our standard standardize function. We take our x comma our mean comma our standard deviation. We get minus 1 in both cases. So minus 1, standard deviation is below the mean 
minus 1 means relative location of a particular s in a data set. Notice, once we have this relative location, now we can compare. You did much better than your sister. So from now on, when you're talking with your sister or your classmates, you're bragging, you're, you're not like saying, I got a 78. You're like, I got 1.67 standard deviations above the mean. And then, of course, your sister is going to slump her shoulders and say, oh, I got minus 1 standard deviations below the mean. All right, so that's z-score. When calculating the z-score, you're just taking the deviation and dividing it by the standard deviation, which just means that you're determining the number of standard deviations above or below, and we get this relative location. Now, when we come back in our next video, we'll see a couple rules and theorems that can apply this. And this is very important, the z-score idea, because later uh, we'll use this a lot. All right, see you next video.